Umetokoa na kutuisha Umetuganga na kutulisha Wati miliza mambo yetu Bwana Watu sambe Watu oko watu Na tuize tu Wadili sako Bwana Niza milele Matendo yako kwetu Ni maku Wadili sako Bwana Niza milele Matendo yako kwetu Angalia tulipotoka Tulipotoka Mbali Umetuzingi la pande zote Kono wako umetutoa mahali Si salama Wewe ndiwe mungu Wama isha ya mungu Ineema yako tu Ikusuri la you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For every one who asks receives. He who seeks finds and to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Let us continue with the recent worship. Um, happy coming back day to church. Is it called that? <laughs> or should we say welcome back to church? Turn to your neighbor, tell them welcome back to church. to be back in the house of the Lord. We thank God for taking care of us. He has sustained us. Amen. We know many people who have died, but the Lord has sustained us. He deserves all our glory and all our praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's clap our hands.
Jehovah. You are the great I am. That this morning, Jehovah, you have made it possible. But that we can gather in the house called by your name. That we may bring praises and worship unto thee. The whole duty of man. We are excited. We are joyous. And we glorify your holy name. Because it has taken thy mighty heart, O God. To hold us this past one, one and a half months. When we have not been gathering in houses called by your name. You have delivered us, O God. You have ransomed our eyes, O God. And this morning we gather to bring thanksgiving to you, O God. We are humbled. And we adore thy holy name. And we confess that had your heart not been upon us, O God, we would have been destroyed. The enemy would have swallowed us alive. But you have delivered us, O God, in our going out and in our coming in, night and day, O God, you have held us by your righteous right hand. We thank you and we bless you. In total humility, O God, we confess every transgression, every sin and iniquity, O God. You have found among us, O God, in our families, in our communities, in our neighborhoods, O God, in our city, in our places of work, O God, in the marketplaces, O God, where Jehovah we pursue our vocations, O God, we confess every sin, O God. Every sin by the leaders of the nation, oh God. Because they cry because of corruption, oh God. And lack of service delivery, oh God. Continues, oh God, to be seen all over, oh God. We repent this sin, oh God. We repent this sin, oh God. Even as the church, oh God. Where we have not stood in our rightful positions, oh God. We pray that you forgive us, oh God. Your word has said that you are looking for a man who will stand in the gap, O oh God, to build a world of righteousness that you may not pour your wrath on a nation, O oh God. We pray this morning, O oh God, by your mercies, by your grace, O oh God, by your compassion, O oh God, have mercy on us, O oh God, and make us right before you, O oh God, that I was standing today, O oh God, it is shall not a religious act. It is shall not be a ratio. It is shall not be a familiar tread, O oh God. But we come before you in trembling, knowing that your word has said that you are fire and you are hammer, O oh God. And therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that you have your way, O oh God. Have your way, O oh God. You have said that your heart is not too short to deliver us. Neither are you as deaf that you are not hearing our cry, but because of the iniquities and our sins, O oh God, we have hidden our face from thee, O oh God of heaven. And therefore we confess the sins in our brothers, O oh God, and in our nation. And we pray for your masses. And now by the blood shed at Calvary, O oh God, we receive your righteousness, O oh God, and commit ourselves to you, O oh God. We thank you for every provision. We thank you for every journey masses. We thank you, Jehovah God of heaven, even that you are walk each one of us in good health, O oh God, and renewed our might even a desire to come to your house, O oh God. We surrender to you, O oh God. We pray that you teach us, O oh God, to worship you. Your word has reminded us this morning that if we ask, we shall receive. If we seek, we shall find, O oh God. Teach us to ask. Teach us to seek. Teach us to knock, O oh God of heaven. And Father and God, we pray that ultimately, O oh God, when you have taught us, O oh God, we shall be obedient, O oh God. And you shall walk with us, O oh God, as you enable each one of us to fulfill the mandate, O oh God, in our generation. To the glory of your holy name. We thank you, O oh God, for opening the houses of worship. We thank you, O oh God, for removing the lockdown. And we are trusting on you, O oh God, to deliver this nation and the world over, O oh God. 
from COVID-19 and the evils associated with it, O oh God. This fire you have carried us, O oh God, and we are trusting on thee, O oh God, with no doubt, O oh God, that you are delivering this nation and you are delivering us as the church. Your word has commanded us to give you thanks for everything, for whatever has gone on. The crossing of houses of worship, we thank you. We thank you. And Father and God, because they are open, we pray that you help us, oh God, to stand upright, to display your power and lusciousness, oh God, that your power shall permeate in this nation, in the leadership, oh God, that next time, oh God, we shall not be put in the same category with birth and brothers, oh God, but you shall be honored because you are the God of heaven. And you have control over the affairs of men. Therefore we pray for our national leaders, our county leaders and pray that you reveal yourself to them. As the Lord you have granted them an opportunity to take those positions of leadership. And when they are making decisions concerning the church, oh God, grant them counsel. To make the right choices, oh God. Even to know who has heard them, oh God. And given them even capacity. To speak, O oh God, to the glory of your holy name. And we also pray for the church to be a right, O oh God, where you have found us in darkness, O oh God, where you have found us as a sword without taste, O oh God. Father, it is only you who can remold us. It is only you who can refine us, O oh God. It is only thee who can be purified to be a pure sword, O oh God, to the glory of your holy name. Cause us to arise and shine, O oh God, that we may display you, O oh God, in the communities by the power of your resurrection to the glory of your holy name. We thank you for every member of this congregation and the families in this congregation, O oh God. And we pray, O oh God of heaven, that you touch our eyes, wash over us, O oh God, and be together with us. Lay the standard in our worship even to the glory of your holy name. We thank you for the leaders of the church, world over, oh God, even the leadership of the Presbyterian Church of East Africa. And we pray, oh God, that your spirit permeates every court in this church, oh God, to reign and to direct your saints and readers in your way, oh God, that Jehovah God, your purpose, for the church in our generation, oh God, in our positions of leadership, oh God, we may reveal you, O oh God, to the glory of your holy name. We thank you for Nairobi North Presbytery. We thank you, Jehovah, for Kazarani Central Party. We thank you for this congregation, the ministers, the elders, O oh God, the deacons and the group leaders, O oh God, the members of the congregation, men and women, youth and children, Father and God, all of them, O oh God, who are registered, O oh God, as full members. And for us who have not even Jehovah registered in this church, our prayer, oh God, is that you break every hard-heartedness in each one of us, oh God, that you may break every pride and arrogance, oh God, and cause us, oh God, to submit to the word of the Lord, even to salvation, to the glory of your holy name. As we start off, oh God, after the second closure, oh God, be together with us. Hold us by your righteous right heart, O oh God, and continue to be together with us in holiness, O oh God, in lusciousness to the glory of your holy name. We thank you for our parish minister, O oh God, and pray as you use him, O oh God, Father, to release your word, O oh God. After this crusher, O oh God, we pray for a fresh anointing, a fresh power, that you are my word, O oh God, that you transform our hearts, O oh God, to conform to the will of Christ Jesus, O oh God. That you mold our hearts to your heart, O oh God. And that you shall cause us our will to be in line your will, O oh God. May be manifest this day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for all of us who have served in the praise and worship and all other positions of service. And we pray that you honor, O oh God of heaven, our service this day. And all of us, oh God, who are getting this opportunity to be in your house during this service, even in the next service, oh God, 
we pray that we may experience your presence and your power to the glory of your holy name. We release ourselves to you and we pray that you have your way. For this is a prayer of faith through Jesus Christ, even our Lord and our Savior. Our Father, who is art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is thy kingdom. The power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Praise God, church. Mukoazima, Tuasukuru Mungu wote. We have a reason to thank God for this far. Amen. I'm Nancy Irungu. Jesus is my personal savior. Na mshukuru kwa hii umbari ya menifikisha. Na jio imegamiri mkono wake kuwa vile niko. Na jio na mshukuru. Na naomba haendere kuwa nami. Uh, Arao me to welcome all of you in this service. Being our first service, shashi kifunguriwa. Kama uko hapo, na wewe ni mugeni. This is your first time to be with us. Kindly stand up wherever you are. Atu na mugeni? Munaona mugeni kweli? Aya. Akaria uyo mwenye muko na ee, umuambie. Unajua umebarikiwa. kitu tuna, tunafaa kujua ni mshungaji wetu amerudi kwa ofisi tunajua alikuwa rif lakini tunajua tunaarifiwa ya kwamba amerudi kwa ofisi amen yes tuko na kandi ya thanksgiving nitasoma kulingana na vile imeandikwa when my heart can't reach to hug the people i treasure my heart my heart hugs them with a prayer the world is a better place because of people like you who always take time to do nice things the way you do. I would thank you from the bottom of my heart, but for you, my heart has no bottom. Just thank God for you. This one is from the family of Paul Tishapor Mwangi. Uni Mwarimu wa Sadiskur, Mwenyarikuwa Merusi Babake, Na mkamshikiria na maombi na vitu zenu na diwa na washukuru mungu wa wabariki. Hako na mpaka abahasha ya thanksgiving diwa natafuta, diwa natafuta lakini ikotu hapa. Tuwa shukuru mungu kwa hayo hatuna mambo ingine. Tuwa shukuru mungu kwa kurundi lakini vile tumerudishwa. Uh, Bibiria inatuambia obedience is better than sacrifice. Kwa hivyo ni mzuri kuombe all the protocols. Kweka maski mzuri keep social distance na kuosha mkono vile tunaharifiwa. Amen. Mungu wa bariki, tuendere na service. Uh, tusimame tukaribishe awale Fred for the word. Gaiwa kwa gaiwa kwa e Gaiwa kwa e wa mage ganya wasifiwe tunaweza keti na ili tukaweze kupata nafasi katika uwepo wa Bwana kulisikia neno la Bwana
Bwana asifiwe sana. Ni furaha yangu kubwa e, kwa kuwa kanisa imelejea na nimekuwa nikisema mara nyingi ya kwamba e, sio kwa ubaya kanisa imefungwa lakini ni kwa wema kwa maana Biblia ya tuonyesha ya kwamba mambo yote yanakusanyika na ili yakaweze kueletea waamini ama wale wanamwamini Bwana wema na hata Mungu akaweze kupokea utukufu na wakati tunatazama historia ya kikanisa especially from the early church after the ascension of Jesus Christ to heaven e, tunaona ya kwamba kanisa huwa ina imalika ina shamili na inaenda inakuwa katika shangamoto and we believe that even in the wave of covid the church of god is becoming stronger and god will continue to accomplish his will and purpose my prayer is that we may be part of the good things the lord want to accomplish in this in, uh, at this time bwana akaweze kutuhifadhi na ili tukahesabike kuwa sehemu ya yale mambo mengi na mema na hata revival ya kanisa na utukufu wake bwana uonekane kupitia sisi hasa katika wakati huu bwana ametupatia e, nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana amezidi kunilinda nimeweza kufurahia likizo ambayo nilikuwa ndani yake nikatulia vizuri na ninafurahia bwana kwa kurejea kazini nikiwa na nguvu mpya i am now one week from the time that i have come from leave and i thank god for the opportunity i also thank god for the protection that he has given me and also the parishioners of this parish wale washirika nyinyi nyote e, katika msimu huo ambao ulikuwa very very serious we thank god that we never had cases that we know we never had cases that we could uh, be able to identify from our members eh tuliadhilika tu kwa wale ambao tunaitanishwa na wao labda wazazi e, na wale wengine wametuacha wame wakiwa wazazi wetu ama watu wetu hawa wengine hawakuenda kwa ajili ya mambo haya ambayo yako tumtukuza bwana kwa maana kuna uh, parokia zingine i'm not just saying within the presbytery of Nairobi north but even some who are our neighbors ambao waliweza kupata wakati mgumu sana wakati huo makanisa yalikuwa yamefungwa there was a minister that i was sharing with and he told me in a week he buried four people who died on covid e, na ni washirika wake mwenyewe na sasa hiyo jambo likawa gumu sana kwa ajili ya parokia ama kwa parokia ikawa ngumu sana lakini utukufu kwa Bwana kwa ajili ya menihifadhi mimi na wewe tuko hapa parokia yetu iko imara na tuazidi kuomba ya kwamba atazidi kutuhifadhi katika wema wake e, vile vile nataka kuwashukuru wapendwa kwa ajili ya kwamba hata wakati huo Uh, before the closure and even within the period that the churches were closed uh, there we couldn't notice that much difference when it comes even to the affairs learning the affairs the affairs of the church meeting the obligations from fi financial obligations kwa maana watu walikuwa wanapeana sadaka zao watu walikuwa wanapeana kulingana na vile bwana anawajalia na hata wakati tulifika wa fad raising i thank god that we were able to get something bwana asifiwe tuliweza kukusanyika ninawashukuru niliona niliona uh, district wa kireta deacons wanakuja na elder na wanaleta vitu za washirika wote and we thank god and even here laughter tunaona watu wengine akija hapa na akasema eh, sikuweza kuleta pesa yangu ya fad raising na analeta na tunaombea hilo ni jambo la kumtukuza bwana na kwa hivyo tunawashukuru sana e, nyinyi mlio hapa na wengine ambao hawako hapa 
eh, kwa ajili ya sababu tofauti we thank you and if you know anyone who was committed into ensuring that the work of god is continuing go and bring uh, and take this gratitude to them muambie ya kwamba kanisa inashukuru sana kwa ajili ya wao kwa hivyo mbarikiwe sana bwana azidi uh, kufanya gara zenu ama uh, your stores zikaweze kujaa kila wakati na ili eh, msije mkakosa maishani ya kutumia ya kusaidia wengine na hata ya kuhudumu katika kazi ya Bwana tumepewa nafasi ya kufungua kanisa and having been given this opportunity we thank God and we as we were considering on how to undertake this we thought that it is important for us to at first see how people will be coming especially when we divide our church in, into two we have 18 districts na tunataka tuwe na ibada mbili kwa kila jumapili na kwa hivyo tukasema tugawanye district hizi mara mbili na ili eh, katika ibada ya kwanza we have nine districts ibada ya pili we have nine districts na kwa maana tunajua tukiwa na ibada bili na district amba, uh, hatuwaruhusu watu wawe na freedom ya kuja ibada ya kwanza ama ya pili e, na tunajua katika hiyo hali watu wanaweza changanyika we will be careful to uh, take the interest of each individual anayesikia lugha ya kikuyu anayesikia lugha ya Kiswahili ama ya Kigereza na ili tuchanganye lugha mbili Kiingereza na Kiswahili for the benefit of our members So we will avoid for this uh, at this period before we get to the normalcy uh, we will avoid using our local language that at least we may be able to accommodate every other person even the visitors who may be coming there are some special groups that we would like to consider kwa maana tugeomba kama umepewa ibada ya kwanza kuja ibada ya kwanza wakati tuta open for every any, any service you can choose to come the first and the sec or the second lakini kama umepewa ibada ya kwanza kuja ibada ya kwanza usifuke mipaka na ili ya kwamba tusije tukaweza kukiuka kanuni ambazo tumeelekezwa na serikali ambazo tumeelekezwa na wale ambao wanatuongoza na ili tukaandamane vizuri na kwa hivyo Let us try to adhere to the regulations given and whenever the church directs you to come to a particular service kindly come. Ukiambiwa next Sunday utakuja second usiseme ya kwamba nilisikia ya kwanza ikiwa nzuri embu niende ya kwanza. Follow the direction given. However, for the praise and worship for the praise and worship these are kind of a special group that we can consider vile wataka vyojipanga wale watakuja first service or second service they can cut a close tugataka kuwapatia nafasi praise and worship waweze kujipanga vile wanaweza na ili tuhakikishe katika ibada zetu zote mbili tuko na msimamo mwema katika hali ya kuabudu bwana na katika hali ya kuongozwa katika sifa wale wengine ni ushers and also the health committee the health board ushers na health wanaweza kata close kwa maana tukiwagawanya watu wa health na district hawataweza wengine wana, tunaweza kuta service moja i, haina watu wa kuoperate eh, so we would like health to arrange themselves in a way that they will ensure that we have uh, well uh, good services that are happening uh, when we are ushering people in the service and also the ushering department kaidre organize yourself We believe that elders will organize themselves according to the way the districts will be allocated. So we are grateful to God and we celebrate the Lord for this far that we have come. Na washukuru sana bwana awabariki you are special special people and we believe the grace of God will continue to work together with this parish together with you as an individual as we con- as we continue to commit ourselves to the Lord. Let us pray that we may hear the word of god our father and god we are so so much happy and delighted in your presence this morning giving us another chance that we may gather together physically 
as a church in a worship service. Jehovah King of Glory, we do not take this for granted and we thank you for giving us this opportunity considering that the churches can assume the your worship services, O oh God. We glorify your name and we pray. May you bless us, everlasting Father. May you continue to preserve us in your faithfulness and love. May you, Jehovah King of Glory, minister to us in this new season, the season that we are considering the liberty of our parish, the liberty of the ministry that you have called us into, mighty Father, after the crucial of the churches. And we pray even as we sit at your feet, mighty Father, to listen to your teachings, May you minister to our lives, O oh God, and continue to do good, everlasting Father, for your word tells us that your word that you have sent to the world will never return to you, Jesus, having not fulfilled its purpose. It is our prayer that through this word, our hearts will be strengthened, our hearts will be drawn closer to you, our hearts will have the persistent spirit that, mighty Father, we may get what you desire for each and every one of us. We worship you and we honor you, for we pray in Jesus' name. Uh, we have read the word of God from the book of Ma Mark, chapter 7. And uh, out of that a scripture, and a scripture that we read from Matthew 7, 7 and 8, in our call to worship, we are going to reflect on a sermon that I have titled, A Strong Heart. A Strong Heart. For sure, I believe this is a time that we have learned that we need strong hearts that we, for us to endure the seasons and for us to overcome the things that has come or that may, may come in our lives. The scripture narrates about Jesus moving from the city of Galilee to the city of Tyre, a town that is to the north of Galilee. And we find that Jesus settled in a house and it is quite clear that he did not want anyone to know the house that he was taking to stay he, he wanted it to become a secret from the masses, from the people. But the secret could no longer be the secret because there were some people who were very, very interested having heard about him, having heard the many, many things, miracles and great wonders that he is doing. They, was, they got so determined and they sought Jesus to see him physically that their lives may be transformed. And one of the people that we find who sought Jesus to understand and know where he is, that her life may be transformed, is a woman. A woman whose daughter was possessed by a demon. Her life was disturbed. The life of the family was no more. There was a lot of chaos. There was a lot of worry. There was a lot of problem in that house. And I believe this woman had tried all means to, fight, to see to it that the daughter is well and have regained no mercy or is healed or the demon is cast out. The demon leaves her body. I believe she could have consulted psychiatrists because at some point, I believed the lady seemed, or the girl seemed to have been disturbed mentally. Na hiri akaweze kuongereshe wanawatu, atimbiwe kama madhare, akili, na aweze hata labda kudungwa masidano, aone madaktali, ambao wanaweza kumkomboa katika ile hali. I also believe that the woman could have visited some other uh, temples or churches or even prophets of the times 
wale priest ambao walikuweko na ili waombe yule mstana akaweze kupona lakini bado ile pepo ilikuwa ingali ndani ya yule mtoto and we find that she gained confidence when she had Jesus is in the city na akaweza kutafuta huyu Yesu Aka, akaweza kuwa so determined and confident that it, when she will meet Jesus her problem will be solved her issue will be managed she trusted that Jesus would solve her problem and therefore she settled at nothing other than seeing Jesus and healing from him lakini tunakuta ya kwamba wakati alikutana na Yesu ana kwa ana wakati alipoingia mahali Yesu alikuwa anakaa tunaona ya kwamba akijielezea the bible says she begged not just seeking but begging she begged Jesus that her daughter could be healed or rather the demon in her could be cast out na tunaona Yesu akimtazama yule mama na akaweza kugundua ya kwamba huyu mama ni muyunani sio muyahudi she is a half caste lakini alikuwa in the in the lineage of the gentiles Yesu akiwa muyahudi akaweza kumjaribu mama na akamwambia sio vizuri kupatiana mkate wa, shaku, wa watoto kwa mbwa you know it is not good to give the bread for the children to the dog actually hakusema giving but throwing kwa maana mara nyingi hata shakula za tupiwa mbwa sio kupewa wanapewa na mara nyingi wanapewa mabaki naye yule mama kwa maana alikuwa anahitaji she persisted and she listened with Jesus kama vile biblia inatuambia ya kwamba come that we may listen together come that we may negotiate our way our relationship our bond between God and us come that we may listen together she listened with Jesus she was not satisfied to hear ya kwamba eh, milako ama baraka hii ya uponyaji hawezi kuipata alingangana mpaka akaweze kuipata yeye mwenyewe hakukasirika kwa maana getting compared with dogs she could become emotional i don't know whether it was you if it were you ulinganishwe na mbwa ungeangalia uanze labda kusema na huyu ana malingo kweli na huyu ni Yesu ambaye ninasikia juu yake ambaye ni mwalimu wa ajabu. Huyu ni mtume kweli ambaye anatusi watu. Lakini yule mama she never became emotional but she agreed with Jesus. But she became persistent. And she claimed that even dogs are allowed to eat from the scraps from the children's plate kula yale mabaki ama ile ambayo inaanguka wakikula ambayo inaanguka chini hata mbwa wanaruhusiwa naye Yesu akaguzwa na imani ya huyu mama akaguzwa na lile jibu na akamwambia ya kwamba enenda kwa maana pepo tayari limemtoka mwanao and on reaching home The woman confirmed that yes it is done my daughter is free from the bondage of the demon Aliweza kumkuta amelala ametulia akamtuka akamkuta amenyamaza na hana makelele akamkuta in a very sober mood in her bed clean and well glory to God Bwana Yesu asifiwe What are the lessons that we can learn from this scripture two things that i'm going to mention number one, jesus came for all yesu 
hakuja kwa ajili ya Wayahudi lakini alikuja hata kwa Wasamaria alikuja hata kwa Wayunani and that is why we see the Samaritan woman in the well at the well akiweza kumuona Yesu na akakombolewa akaenda kwenye kijiji na kuambia wenye kijiji come and see someone who has transformed my life alikuja kwa ajili ya wayunani the gentiles kama huyu mama alikuja kwa wayunani kama yule tajiri ambaye mfanyikazi wake alikuwa amegonjeka na akaenda kwa Yesu akamwambia sema tu jambo I am not even worth that you may enter under my roof na Yesu akasema jambo akamwambia enenda kwa maana mfanyikazi wako tayari amepona Christ never came for a particular group Christ never came for the Jews in Jerusalem Christ came for you and me you count it only depends on the faith that is in you Bwana Yesu asifiwe inalingana kama una imani inawezekana wayahudi wako lakini wakikosa imani hawatapata baraka ya Bwana inawezekana wewe hau, wewe sio muyahudi wewe sio mtu wa kanisa sana but if you have faith great miracles great things great manifestation of God's love can happen into your life it never meant that Jesus was not ready or, or unwilling or even unable to cast out the demon that was in the girl but he only tested the faith of this woman mara nyingi tuna miss baraka yetu na tunaona kama Mungu hataki ama hawezi ama ameshindwa na sisi ama ametusahau kwa maana tumeomba lakini hatuoni majibu tunakuja kanisani lakini hatuoni mabadiliko lakini labda umewekwa katika mtihani kama yule mama aliwekwa wa kudhihakiwa na Yesu na kuambiwa siwezi kupatia mkato wa watoto kwa mbwa labda wengine wamemkasirikia Mungu wengine wamekosa ku push for the blessings you may be there unaona tu watu wengine wanabarikiwa jiulize do you persist remember that Christ came for all he never only came for some few he never, he never he did not come he has no favoritism to have come only to a category of people you can also receive a miracle number two is that there is power in persistence lesson number two, there is power in persistence many people like this woman they seek god's intervention in their lives in their situations and conditions but they do not find the miracle that they do seek for they fail to persist they give up along the way wanaomba tu mara moja alafu anaacha tunaona yule mama akiwa described ya kwamba she was begging and i believe begging emphasizes on ya kwamba mtu ambaye anahimiza tu anayehimiza sio tu kuomba lakini she begged jesus and even when she was given a very negative answer hakuanza kusema this man is tribalist this man is proud having come from the jewish background but she agreed but continued to persist because she had that spirit in her and we fight we fight great results tukaweza kuona mazao mengi na mema ambayo yaliweza kumjia huyu mama na akaweza kuletewa ukombozi shinda yake ikatatuliwa familia yake ikarejeshwa na mwanawe akarejeshwa katika hali ya afya jema ukitazama huyu mama wengi wanaosoma ama wanaweza kusoma ufahamu huu 
they can describe this woman as an intelligent woman and for sure she was she had the capacity to reason with god while others they can describe her in a negative way as a desperate woman and for sure she was desperate in need desperately in need of healing for her daughter hatukatai lakini the best description that i can give to this woman that fits her is a strong hearted woman mama ambaye alikuwa na roho iliyokuwa na nguvu nyingi she had a very strong heart a heart that could withstand the test of jesus and she gives us a good descriptions or description of uh, a, a strong heart she gives us some qualities that we can find of a strong heart a heart that i believe all of us would desire some qualities that we can learn from and aspire and even pray that we can get number one, allow me to give you four four qualities that we can find in this woman the qualities that can describe a strong heart number one, a strong heart like this of uh, uh, like the one of this woman does not give up easily loho ambayo haikufi moyo haraka Loho ambayo inasisitisha yes there may be all the reason to give up there may be all the reason to surrender there may be all the reason even to be tired nimeomba sana Mungu ni kama hasikii maombi yangu nimeenda hiyo kanisa sana na vile nimehudumu na ukitazama maisha yangu yanaendelea kusabaratika that is a weak heart but a strong heart is the heart that persists and becomes strong even when in a storm even when in desperation even when we may be discouraged even when we may be compared with the dogs even when we may be provoked into anger even when we may be tired of seeking the face of god a strong heart does not give up easily it persists number two, a strong heart like this of this woman seeks god and allow me to distinguish between seeking god in terms of prayer kwa maana nitaongea kuhusu maombi baadaye lakini kumtafuta bwana seeking the face of god a heart that seeks god roho ambayo inamtafuta bwana ninadhani kwenye kijiji hicho cha taya watu walikuwa wengi na yesu akasema iwe sili ya kwamba mahali ambapo nimekaa nyumba ambayo nimekondisha hakuna mtu atajua katika hiki kijiji lakini kwa huyu mama akawa so determined kwa maana anataka kuona uso wa Yesu akaulizia akaketi kwa barabara nadhani labda alikuwa anaketi kwa barabara na ili aone ile jia Yesu anapitia ama wanafunzi wake na akaweza kuweza kupata mahali ambapo Yesu alikuwa anakaa she was that determined she had a strong heart to seek Jesus to seek to see God kuka kama watu wale wengine ambao labda walikuwa wengi kwenye hicho kijiji hawakuwa na shughuli roho ambayo ni roho iliyo na nguvu ni ile roho inatafuta Yesu with a lot of determination with a lot of strength and with a lot of spirit roho ambayo iko juu bwana Yesu asifiwe katika maisha yetu Vile vile Jesus is in secret. You cannot say that he resides at some place. Ukija kwa ofisi ya mchungaji na ili uone Yesu, yule unakuta ni mwanadamu, mchungaji akiwa tu na kora. Ukija kanisani unakuta watu. Ukienda mahali pengine una, lakini kama hauna roho ya kutafuta Yesu, hautaweza kumpata. 
maana haonekani na macho na tunastahili tuwe na roho kama ile ambayo inahimiza kukutana na Yesu ambayo inahimiza kupatana na Yesu he may be in secret but we must be led we must seek the spirit of god that can lead us to find jesus bwana yesu asifiwe we be determined na hapa ndipo unaona watu wanachoka anakuja kwa kanisa anachoka anaenda kwa ushirika anachoka ana, anakosa ana, anakosa shughuli na mambo ya roho mtakatifu na mambo ya Mungu alipo unakuta watu wengi wanaweza kuwa ni wakristo lakini they have given up they do not have the zeal to seek Jesus kwa maana there is something that they miss the, dis- the determination ya kutafuta Yesu akija hapa kanisani anatazama tu wale wengi, watu wale wengine wakiomba akienda ushirika anatazama tu watu na ndipo unaona wakati mwingine ushirika unaweza kuwa like a social group kwa maana watu hawana ile zeal na spirit anakuja, anakuja tu na ili ajaze ya kwamba anakujanga ushirika tunamjua lakini unaweza kuwa unakuja ushirika na tunakujua lakini umejuana na Yesu Yesu anakujua have that zeal like the one that we find in this woman The zeal, this zeal will lead you into seeking the face of God through Bible study, seeking the face of God through prayer. Take, you, you can take your time even to prayer centers. Unaenda mahali, you spend the whole day with Jesus. Unatafuta Bwana hadi wakati atanena na hautashoka kutafuta uso wake. Unaenda katika ushirika that you may have some space to pour your heart to Jesus by the help of the holy spirit because Jesus remains in secret number three, a strong heart a heart like this uh, th- like the one we find in this woman is a heart of prayer a heart a heart of prayer we find this woman begging and her begging i, I am comparing it or making it equivalent to our prayer yale maombi tunayoomba begging jesus kumwambia yale mambo yaliyo moyoni lakini tunaona the woman prayed she begged jesus and she stopped at nothing until something happened this is what the scripture tells us that we should pray without ceasing we pray without ceasing That is why some other people say pray until something happens. Uombe mpaka wakati utaona kwa kweli jambo limefanyika. And therefore we should seek God in prayer. We should have a heart of prayer, a heart that pray, a heart that seeks, a heart that begs that we may be able to overcome the demonic attacks, the demonic powers in our families, in our lives, in our businesses. In our career, some people are living in demonic attacks and they have an option of prayer. You need to beg, pray without ceasing because this woman is teaching us that the more you seek, the more you beg, the more you pray, the more the miracle get realized. The more the miracle get realized. And we find good examples of prayer for people in the Bible. The first one is David. David was a prayerful man and I like it especially when uh, he found the city that he was living in, the Siklag, the village that he was living in has been burnt by the enemies and the uh, women and children have been, have been taken away. Tunaona hata kama alilia kama watu wale wengine, alilia mpaka akakosa nguvu. Like the other fellow army men Alilia mpaka akakosa nguvu lakini baada ya kulia hakuanza kufikiria mambaya lakini alienda kwa maombi kwa maombi akaitisha effort effort means the presence of god he went into the presence of god and inquired he poured out his heart na akauliza bwana nikienda utawapeana mikononi mwangu na tunaona akijibiwa 
labda umekuwa pale ni kulia tu ukisema Mungu anaona kilio changu lakini haujapata nafasi ya kuomba take time for prayer another character is king jehoshaphat in second chronicles chapter 20 tunaona wakati wa, wa, different communities wali walikongomana na wakaweza kuungana wavamie Judah and Jerusalem tunakuta ya kwamba Jehoshaphat akawakusanya watu wote na akawaambia tunaomba jifunge kula na kunywa na akaongoza maombi yaliyokuwa marefu baada ya maombi tunaona Mungu akinenea mmoja wa wale watu walikuwa pale kwa jina eh, Zekaraya na akaweza kunena maneno ya Bwana prayer changes situations and finally my dear brothers and sisters point number four. a strong heart is the heart of faith a strong heart is the heart of faith the faith of the woman the faith that this woman portrayed we can see it in her persistence alikuwa anaamini ya kwamba hana any other option her option was only in Jesus imani yake na trust yake iko kwenye Kristo peke yake na dipo hata wakati aliyoambiwa sioni kama kuna mabaki yako hapa tupatie watoto kwanza wa, wale wengine mbwa wataweza kukula baadaye she never settled on that idea akajua nisipobarikiwa hapa sitaweza kupata suluhisho she trusted that it is only Jesus who can heal her daughter she had no second option he never went to jesus with a divided heart she was in total faith that the healing of my daughter can only be found in jesus sometimes we approach jesus with a divided heart naenda kwa yesu na roho mara mbili mungu nisaidie lakini wakati mwingine tunasema hata akikosa kunisaidia ama my hobby ya sipo I think I can approach my relative my brother my sister or my parents na ninaona wanaweza kunisaidia man knew that her solution is only in Jesus alafu aliweza kuwa na imani ya kwamba Yesu ako, ni yeye peke yake ako na uwezo wa kudeliver mwanawe we need to approach Jesus with the spirit that it is only Jesus who can change things. Mara nyingi kama vile Biblia inasema that he is a jealous God. Mara nyingi Mungu anapenda mahali ambapo tutaweza kutambua ya kwamba ni yeye peke yake amefanya haya. And that is why aliweza kuwapitishia wana wa Israeli in a long route ambayo walikuwa wavuke the Red Sea. Na ili ya kwamba wakifika ngambo ile nyingine wajue kama haigekuwa ni Yesu kama haigekuwa ni Mungu hatungekuwa hapa some other times we feel as if mambo mengine tunaweza saidiwa na watu wale wengine we need to have a strong faith and therefore my dear brothers and sisters we need to understand from the scripture and from the four things that we have learned that great things happen for Christians who have a strong heart like this woman a heart that pushes things into happening pushes things into reality a persistent heart that seeks what they want and they will settle on nothing else and again we have found ama tumeona ya kwamba kuna waumini tunaomba lakini tunaendelea kubaki katika ile hali tuliyokuwa ndani yake kwa maana tunakufa moyo we give up along the way this woman never gave up for us to have a strong heart we should never ever give up and finally ni vizuri kuwa na roho iliyo na nguvu kama vile tumeweza kushambua vizuri kwa maana kuna watu ambao wako na miili yenye nguvu na hata maisha yao inaonekana kama wako na nguvu na uwezo wako na mali wako na connections wako na mambo kama yale lakini 
hawana nguvu ya roho lakini ukiwa na nguvu ya roho if you are strong at heart it doesn't matter whether things are good in your life it doesn't matter whether your body is, is strong whether your life is strong you shall overcome every obstacle na kwa hivyo roho ambayo ni iko na ujasili na nguvu ambayo tunaona kwa huyu mama hailinganishwi na nguvu ya kimwili hailinganishwi na nguvu ya macho lakini ni nguvu ya roho mtakatifu nguvu ya imani bwana yesu asifiwe yombi langu ya kwamba kila mmoja wetu hapa ataazimia kuwa na roho yenye nguvu na ataweza kutafuta uso wa bwana na aweze kupokea baraka yake ningetaka tusimame tuweze kumalizia kwa maombi na tupokee baraka kwa utukufu wa bwana ninajua umejifunza kupitia huyu mama you may have learned one or two things and it is important to ask yourself am i strong hearted niko na hiyo roho ambayo iko na nguvu moyo wangu uko na nguvu kama yule mama na ni wakati mzuri kumlejea bwana na umwambie ya kwamba bwana i will not give up again bado nitaendelea na labda ulikuwa umefika mahali ukaona kama wafika mwisho ni wakati mzuri sasa kuendelea na kupata nguvu mpya kama yule mama na ukaweze kufikia kile ambacho unatazamia katika maisha yako some other people have prayed for their families and they, nothing seems to be happening some other people may be seeking god for their businesses or work or their career nothing seems to be happening some other people may be seeking god for their health nothing seems to be happening it is time to regain your strength become strong at heart and you shall find the deliverance of the lord in the name of jesus for christ came for all not that he came for a particular category of people he came for you he came for me in jesus name have a word before the lord mwambie jambo hata wakati huu labda kuna jambo ungetaka kumwambia bwana uko na lile jambo ungetaka kumwambia bwana uko na eh, shinda ulio nayo ungetaka kumwambia bwana tell god something about your life in the opening of the churches may the lord minister to you as he did uh, to this woman that you may have a new testimony that you may say yes it has it has happened yes it is done i can see something is happening in my life katika jina la yesu kristo you can also be healed like the way we have had other people healed you can be delivered like the way we have seen people delivered you, it can be done for you yes just seek the face of jesus and it shall be well with you it shall be well with you in the name of jesus we thank you lord we worship you father for you are our god we love us so much that you have ministered to us through your word jehovah king of glory because you can understand our situation you can understand our life you see how we are jehovah father we glorify you jesus for you are our god we thank you for the opportunity that you have given to approach you ulisema ya kwamba tukutafute wakati huu unaweza kupatikana bwana baba wa mbinguni twaja mbele zako kwa maana uko mahali ambapo wengine katika dunia hawakuoni wengine hawana shughuli wengine wame give up bwana lakini sisi tuendelea kusisitisha tunataka kukuona Yesu tunataka kukuona na hatutarudi baba wa mbinguni bila kupokea baraka hatutatoka mahali hapa bwana bila kupokea baraka yako baba wa mbinguni and we pray that you may minister to each and every need that is represented in this place in this sanctuary father may your holy spirit minister to your people May you fulfill the your heart desires oh God. May you free us oh God and deliver us from the bondage of demonic attacks in our lives in the name of Jesus. Glorify yourself oh God. 
that we shall declare for sure it is done by you for it is only in you that we are, we trust we believe that you are you are the only one who holds power to deliver us oh jesus we thank you and we honor you vile bwana ninavyoomba kwa ajili ya kila mmoja aliye mahali hapa baba wa mbinguni ukiwa mbinguni biblia yatuambia ya kwamba watutazama waelewa mioyo yetu baba wa mbinguni waona kilio cha moyo wetu mfalme mwema wasikia sauti yetu kama jinsi vile tumekunenea asubuhi ya leo baba twaomba ukaweze kutujibu we have come that we may listen with you father yes we may not be counted worthy of your miracles worthy of your blessings but mighty father we pray have mercy on us may we take the left overs jehovah king of all the glory kwa maana hata mbwa wanaruhusiwa kukula mabaki katika sahani ya watoto ili tukaende nyumbani tukiwa tumebarikiwa badilisha maisha ya watu wako katika jina la Yesu Kristo na uzidi kututenda mema Wajiachilia kwako hata tunapofungua wiki mpya anda maana nasi midomoni mwetu weka sifa za kukuabudu kwa maana tutaona mkono wako juu ya maisha yetu baba wa mbinguni midomoni mwetu weka ushuhuda tushuhudie matendo yako ewe bwana katika jina la Yesu for the sick father we pray that you may heal them for Christ Jesus you are beaten and by your stripes we are healed we thank you Jesus and we honor you for this is our prayer in Jesus name brethren in god By the love of God I surrender you all in the loving arms of our Lord God Almighty. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you and give you grace, more grace that will handle every situation in your life. Grace that will receive you the way you are. Grace that will take you to levels. Grace that will help you to overcome every obstacle May the lord lays his countenance upon you and give you peace the peace of god that surpasses human understanding the peace of god that guard our minds and our hearts may let be upon each and every one of us in this life that we may ever be joyful in whatever condition or situation that we may find ourselves in we will have joy focusing on god not on the problems may the blessings of god almighty father son and the holy spirit be with you now and forevermore amen amen god bless you you may be seated Angalia tulipotoka tulipotoka oh. mbali umetuzingira pande zote kono wako umetutoa mahali si salama wewe ndiwe Mungu